Yeah, my name is Tony Smith, and I watch the bison. Get another great few months for our booster club saw a check of £7,500 passed over to Doug Shepherd as Ryan Watt took the ice for the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison with Milk King's Lightning in town. <laughs> It'd be the visitors who had the best of the early chances, Jordan County going in one-on-one -on -one, but Dean Skins coming up with the big early save to keep the scores level. The herd soon found themselves on the power play and found a way to open up the scoring. Puck retention bringing its rewards with men crashing the net as Aaron Connolly found himself in the right place to swivel the net the first. A real moment of worry followed for the Lightning as star forward Milan Kostarek took a heavy blow from the puck to the knee. Thankfully he would be able to continue later. But with time ticking down in the first, the Lightning found themselves on the power play and scored directly from the face-off. Lewis Hook getting the puck and making the space to fire in the equaliser. Bison tried their hardest to put the pressure on in the remaining moments, but the net came free from its moorings with the pressure on, ending all hope of a goal before the end of the first. Both sides appear cagey from the start of the second, looking to jump in on each other's plays and create the turnover. However, it would be the hosts who would use the free ice to their advantage. Connolly with his second of the night, stepping in over the blue line and powering past Headley, as our excellent replay shows the water bottle also taking a trip. Back again though came the Lightning and they were soon level on the scoreboard. The ever impressive County creating the opportunity by putting the puck across the net with Blaz Ebersick manoeuvring into position to net the equaliser. It seemed to give the Lightning the lift they needed with the pressure coming once again. This time a mixture of skins and then Connolly on the line kept the visitors at bay. And all that gave was confidence for the herd to go forward to create their own opportunity. Maybe not the prettiest of finishes in the end, but a determination to never give up on the puck meant Joe Green had put the host back in front. I think we'll need our excellent replays to show just how that one eventually went in. Grinner would be in the thick of the action as the Bison put a two goal difference between the sides. Full credit to Shepherd for stepping up on the defenceman to create the turnover with a great finish from his fellow forward making it 4-2 through the five hole.
That didn't deter the Lightning though, and with less than a minute to play in the period, it set up an intriguing third, with Adam Carr netting the vital strike. Another power play opportunity would present the Bison with the chance to pull clear once more. Hard work creating the goal, with Thomas Karpov wheeling out to fire in the fifth. Bison's task of holding on was about to become a bit trickier. Kurt Reynolds missed timing a hit and going through the numbers on Ross Bowers. No doubt in the referee's mind, initially a match penalty for checking from behind reduced to a 5 plus game and the Bison having to kill a big power play. Again it was Cowley trying to create something for the Lightning with the force of Chris Wiggins making his way to the net. The herd though held firm, killing the five minute penalty with ease and plenty of tussle. Another opportunity on the man advantage would reduce the game to a one goal one with Lee Jameson dancing in and netting but that would be as close as the lightning came, the Bison running out 5-4 victors.